John begins with Jesus before all beginnings. He did not begin with lineages or earthly events or human beginnings of human interests of identity, governance, or education. His gospel begins with what preceded everything. John's in the beginning in verse 1 reflects Genesis and the first three words of the Bible, in the beginning. By writing, in the beginning was the word, as we see in verse 1, John equates God in Genesis with Jesus in his gospel. He introduces Jesus as the word. As John wrote for the whole world, with its 6,000 languages today, and millions of different words, he begins the gospel by referring to the word that existed before the beginnings of all these diverse words in all the unique languages of the world. This word, I believe, was related to another language. It had no, another source, not of human making. I believe it was the very language of God. It was the language God used when he said in Genesis 1, 1 to 26, let there be light, day, night, sky, land, seas, vegetation, the sun, the moon, the stars, and living creatures. John 1, 3 says, Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. Jesus is the word of creation. He is God, the creator. You can look at other scriptures like Psalm 33, 6, and others. Word is logos in the Greek language in which John wrote. It is explained in many ways, but basically it is something heard. So here is John's first description of Jesus. Jesus is God's life heard. He is the Word. He is God's Word in the midst of all the millions of humanly created words. John's opening verses about Jesus combine the word life with word and light. In the concluding verses of this passage, we see how people responded to Jesus. Jesus as God's word is God's life very specifically defined. Words are like that. They are defined. And verse 10 says, He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. The world could not relate him to the word at creation. And in the noise of the world's words, people still do not hear the word that created them. They ignore Jesus as the word.